Cooper. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. So, we had some bonus videos that went up this weekend, and those are actually not done. Um, I filmed a pickup video, which is going to be going up on the Sick Cooper channel, I believe on Saturday? I'm gonna try. We're gonna be starting the remodel, so I might not have time to get around to editing it before then, but hopefully I can. I also filmed a home vlog of working on the game room over the weekend. So it was a two two days worth of filming is gonna be in one video. And uh, that's going on the Sid Cooper channel as well. The link is in the description down below if you'd like to subscribe to that channel. That channel is basically everything that used to be on this channel that's not store related. Now we'll be going onto that channel. So got a couple reviews up, uh, pickup video, another home vlog is already up there. Um, don't post super, super often on that channel, but that's where that kind of stuff is going. So if you're interested, link is in the description. Ryan! We're almost closed and we haven't filmed anything. Yeah, that's true. Sorry about that. There really hasn't been much going on. I mean, we got a bunch of stuffies. Yeah, we should probably show them. Probably. Oh, oh here you go. There you go. Aren't they cool? Oh, hey. Hey there. Um, was there anything you wanted to see in the GameCube case? GameCube? Yeah. We just got a Game Boy player. Oh. Do you have a Shriek game? Uh, Shriek? The green guy. Oh, Shriek. With the earwax? He makes a candle. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. We have Shrek Super Slam. It's not oh. like the main Shrek game, but... Can I see? Yeah. Oh. It's got my favorite character, Pussy Boots, on the front. Um, yeah, oh. uh, I, don't, I don't think oh. that's his name. Uh, anything else? What's that game? Oh. Can I? <laughs> you may, might, may you I might like that game, actually. Uh, it's a uh, BMX XXX. <laughs> It says keep it dirty on the front. Yeah, you, I know you're into that kind of stuff. Oh my god! You wanna get that one? Um, it says bust a nut laughing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ryan, I'm ready to show all the plushies. Yeah, all right. Let's Ooh. start on the side. Okay. We got these we got cool two. Sonic ones. Yeah. Scenic. And there's Scenic. multiple of each. Yes. There's yes. multiple of all of these. Yeah, but, not, but there's less of these two than these two. There's only two each of these. Yeah, which is sad. There's eight of these and four of these. <laughs> <laughs> we have five of these little Kirby backpack dangler ones. Yes. We have five of these little Persona ones. Mm. We have 10, 10, and 10. Yeah. We have Sleepy Kirby. There's only two of those. <laughs> and we have, I think, four of those and eight of these. Five of these ones, I think. Five of these? Was it five or three? I don't know. We have the giant Octorok, the giant Kirby with the heart, the Shy Guy, Boo, and Blooper. There's two of each of these. They're all the Club Mochi Mochi ones. Yeah. And then... DK Burp. And... And KK Slides. And uh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, they're little palicos. Palicos, yeah. And this one? Bullet Bill. And this one? Got the Yoshi Hill. And this is not Club Mochi. Platoon. Mario. Knuckles. Mushroom. Cheap, 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 cheap. And Classic Shell. Yes. So these are all the plushies that we got in today. Like I said, all these big Club Mochi ones, we have two of each. We're not going to be able to fit them all out, though. No. <laughs> it's uh, it's still pretty full up here. I didn't realize we still had two booths, so I guess we have four of those ones. We got some other really awesome items today. And before I show them to you, I'm just going to apologize for today's vlog. Uh, we were... We were not really busy in store, but we had so much stuff to enter between all the plushies and all the stuff, all the packages we got today that we didn't really film much. It's after closing. I'm the only one here. We haven't filmed an outro, haven't filmed the trade-ins, <laughs> so I'm doing all that myself. Uh, but tomorrow starts the remodel, 
and hope and videos are going to be very different but hopefully you guys will enjoy them so you get a weird vlog right before then but we got these amazing mortal Kombat statues these, these are resin figures um, or resin statues they are all one tenth scale and these are from what's the company name it's uh uh, it's on the back. I think it's Iron Studios. Yeah, Iron Studios. Um, so we have Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, and Goro, um, as you can see. I'm going to give you guys some close-ups on these because these are amazing. They're so cool. They're so detailed. And they're not cheap. <laughs> and these, those two in particular, are so freaking sharp. <laughs> Like it's not gonna it's not gonna stab through your skin just by poking it, but if you like slammed your hand down on that, it would definitely cut you. But super cool. Here's Raiden. He's got his lightning. All the bones down here, except for the skulls, are just loose. They came in a little baggy, so I just poured them in. <laughs> um, and then some pieces are held on. Um, his hand with that lightning comes out. His arm comes out right here, and it's magnetic, so it kind of snaps in there. And then we have Goro, which I think is the coolest one. He's way bigger than the other ones, and he's a little bit more expensive because of that. Uh, his hair comes off, and then this part is magnetized in there. But super, super cool. Um, we are going to have a glass case dedicated to, or to figures and statues, and we're going to be displaying them outside of the box. We only got one of each of these, and because of that, we did put them in as pre-owned, but just so you guys know, these boxes were not sealed. There was no sort of sticker seal or anything. Um, so there was tape holding the styrofoam together on the inside, which I did cut through, but um, you know, they're basically brand new. They're just gonna be going into the cabinet. What our plan is for the rest of the anime figures and stuff that we get, we're going to buy dupe, we're gonna buy multiple, like four or five of each, open one of them to display, and then sell the new ones as you know, as people ask for them. And then the opened one, which will be entered as pre-owned, will be the last one that we sell. But those are super cool. And then we also got some other stuff here. Bunch of Switch controllers restocked on all of those. We have some Joy-Cons, these 8-Bit Doe controllers, the Xbox Achievement Light, which is a little lamp. They're pretty cool. And then we have the 8-Bit Doe arcade stick. And then we have some Evercade games. If you guys don't know what the Evercade is, it is a newer console, and you can actually get it on our website. We do have a console category. Not all consoles are available for shipping, but some are, and the Evercades are. And these are what the games look like. Um, when you buy an Evercade game, you are basically getting a pack of games. You're not just buying one. They come in packs like that. So there they are. Pretty cool stuff. Um, they're pretty cheap, too. 20 bucks for, like, eight games on that one six games on that one and that is the console right up there and you get some games with it as well so uh pretty cool but yeah we got a bunch of packages today had to get all that stuff entered it kind of took all day so sorry the video is not amazing all right so your total is going to be 60 bucks seriously are you guys excited yeah, yeah. What, what are we excited for? The boxes. Abby went to get pizza. Oh, the pizza. Oh. oh. Okay. There's God. a lot of things to be excited about. Our Wait. daily pizza. Did you say pizza? Ryan. Yes. Ryan, oh. deep breaths. Deep I breaths. love pizza. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Ariel brought her Pokemon cards in today and Ryan bought a little handful of them that he was looking for, and then I bought the rest. I'm only showing you guys the stuff here that I priced out individually. There was a lot of bulk, which uh, we're going to use to make our custom booster packs, and she did not have anything new. Um, I think the newest cards she had were from like 2003, some e-reader ones, Everything else is older. So I put these in order of price. And just to let you guys know, these are in-store only. They're not in the inventory, so they will not be on the website. But I know a lot of local people that watch always see me show Pokemon cards and then come in. So hopefully some of you guys are interested. So starting at 99 cents, we have Beedrill, Brock, Steelix, Dawn Fan, Dark Doug Trio, Pikachu Promo, 
some of these are not in the best condition. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in the top loaders here, but some of them are marked down because of condition. They're all actually marked down over, you know, under TCG player, but some of them are marked down even more because of condition. Last, another B drill. See, like this B drill is two. The other one was a dollar because I think one of the corners is creased. Raichu, Doug Trio, Muck Hollow, Dark Weezing Hollow, Chansey. You can see right there, there's some damage. This should be like a $10, $12 card, but because of that, it's marked down. Clefairy, Polyrath, Lapras, Gyarados with a huge crease down the middle. This should be like, like a $15 or $20 card, I think it was, but it's in really rough shape. We have uh, the only the only one that's not a rare in here, this Reverse Hollow Taurus, which is an e-reader card. It is a common. You can see the little circle down there, but still very cool. Mewtwo promos, Houndour, there's two of those. Uh, Pikachu promo, Clefairy, first edition non-hollow ditto, Entei, Japanese Machamp, Ninetales, Hitmonchan, Mr. Mime, first edition Machamp, Ancient Mew, Sneasel EX, Nitto King, Raichu, Rocket Sneak Attack First Edition, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mew Promo Hollow, First Edition Pikachu Wizards of the Coast Stamped Promo, really awesome, Blaziken, this one, Shiny Magic Carp. This was the worst condition card out of the entire three binders that she brought in, even including all the commons and stuff. This was by far the worst condition, which sucks because in in good condition, this is like a two or three hundred dollar card. But we had to price it down at thirty bucks. There was one sold recently that had creases for twenty five plus five dollar shipping. As you can see, it's really really rough. It's so sad because it's so freaking awesome. And we have a Caesar. We have a factory sealed Ancient Mew. We have a factory sealed first edition Hollow Machamp. Oop, two cards there. Still sealed in a little baggie. Then we have a Blastoise, which is awesome. And we have the Reverse Hollow Dark Vaporeon, which is beautiful. Thank you, Ariel. Let's take a look at all of the trade-ins from today, guys. First up, all of the Starlink stuff. Um, this was not stuff that we were really interested in. Um, they're not very expensive, and Starlink stuff does not sell very well, but uh, the person insisted on trading them for getting some discs resurfaced, so we did that. Starting over here, in no particular order, we have NBA Courtside, Mortal Kombat 2, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, Fatal Fury 2, Mortal Kombat, Ninja Gaiden 2, Turtles, Super Metroid, Out of This World, Strike Gunner STG, Freaky Forms Deluxe, Second Sight, Herbs Sins in the City, Dead to Rights, kind of sun faded, Paper Mario Color Splash, we have a black, game, black and silver Game Boy Micro, we have both of the newer Game & Watches, the Mario Bros., and The Legend of Zelda. For PS2, we have Flushed Away, DT Racer, ATV Off-Road Fury, Windback, 24, Splashdown, SpongeBob for GameCube, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, and a Halo 2 Collector's Edition with no slip cover. We have the very expensive Game Boy Advance Game Shark. These have been going up in price. There's the cheapest ones on eBay right now are like 200, which is crazy. We have Shaman King, Master of Spirits, Pokemon Fire Red, Zoids Legacy, Sonic Mania, American Ninja Warrior Challenge, Mega Man 11, B Simulator, that game, not very good, <laughs> uh, Ben 10 Power Trip, RE and the Secret of Seasons, Need for Speed Heat, Need for Speed, Alex Kidd, Battle in Wonderland, that game sucks, BB and Tina at the Horse Farm, that looks amazing, Horizon Zero Dawn, we have a bunch of Genesis games here. Socket, which is a game I've never seen before. Sonic Classics. Aladdin. Mortal Kombat 3. Mrs. Pac-Man. N64, we have Super Mario 64, WCW Backstage Assault, and F1 Pole Position. And then we have Revenge of Shinobi. Super Ghouls, or sorry, not Super, just Ghouls and Ghosts. 
Kid Chameleon, Sonic 1, X-Men, NBA Jam, Fantasy Star 3, Shinobi 3, we have Paperboy, Pokemon Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus, which is one of the best Switch games, Resident Evil Village, Pooh's Party Game, Blood Wake, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Need for Speed Carbon, and then lastly, we have Mech Warrior 2, complete but poor condition. We have Albert Odyssey for the Saturn. This does have the artwork, but no manual, unfortunately. But the big boy, we have Magic Knight Ray Earth. I don't get too excited because this is normally a, you know, $1,000 to $1,200 game. There's no case. It is just the disc and the manual, unfortunately. But still, um, pretty rare Saturn game. Really, really cool to see. So those are all of the trade-ins from today. All right, I think it's probably about time to close. I think we're empty. Just don't check. What the? What the heck? Who the heck is it? Hey, it, um, we're closing. The store's closed. Oh, oh, it's you. Hi. Um, what are you? What are you doing here? I was, I was gonna try to do one of those overnight challenges where you. Stay in the store overnight. <sighs> Is that okay? No, we can't have anyone here when we're closed, buddy. I wasn't going to do anything. I was, I was just going to do the challenge. What challenge is that? It's where you stay overnight in a store. Isn't most most people do it at Walmart or, or Home Depot or something, but I thought it would be cooler to do a game store. And this is my favorite game store, so I wanted to do it here. GameStop already kicked me out. Well, thank you, but I'm sorry, you can't do that here. You can, I mean, you could try at a different store, but it's probably illegal to to do that. You might get well, into just, it's, it's just some trouble. If I if I go to Walmart, will you do it with me? Um, I, I need a cameraman. I don't I don't have a camera, so you'd have to bring one but it, it'll be fun I don't, I don't think so I'm sorry Jack Leonard maybe you could try to like find another kid your age I'll be 47 in 3 years <laughs> alright guys I'm going to end this thing I'm going to head home, edit the vlog, get to bed wake up super early tomorrow well super early compared to normal um they're delivering the glass cases anywhere from 10 to 1 so i'm gonna try to get here at 9 30 normally at the earliest i get here at 10 30 uh but everyone else gets here at around 11 30 typically who put these here please don't go here but we're starting the thing the remodel and i can't wait it's gonna be so much fun I think that you guys are going to enjoy the videos, even though they are going to be pretty different. Um, we're still going to, you know, do what we can to make them fun and interesting. But one thing you probably can expect is a lot of time lapses <laughs> of us putting things together or moving things around or taking things off the shelves or putting things on the shelves. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes and I'm super excited. Hope you guys are as well. No question of the day today since everyone left. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.